Hey and welcome! My name is Simon and today I would like to sew with you the hoodie Rüschholm. Rüschholm is a loose-fitting raglan hoodie with a split arm and the bubble sleeve has a playful ruffle. Rüschholm has a hood optional with a cord and two options for the hem. You can choose between a cuff or a drawstring. The hoodie is designed for medium knitted fabrics like with Coes, um, Tricot or French Terry. So let's start and have a quick view at the pattern pieces. The front and the back bodies cut one time on fold and I recommend it to press on interfacing at the shoulder and the neckline. The upper sleeve and the bottom sleeve or the bubble sleeve cut one time normal and one time mirrored and here as well for the shoulder seams and the neckline I pressed an elastic interfacing. The hood cut one time normal and one time mirrored and press on the interfacing here at the opening and optional eyelets and a cord. And for a professional look you can use bias tape for the neckline. The cuffs for the sleeve cut two times normal and depending on the hem option you choose, you can choose between cuffs or you can use a drawstring or an elastic. So for the cuff version you need to cut out the cuff one time on fold. And for the version with the straw strings or the elastic, you don't need an extra pattern piece. Additionally, you will need threads and to make it more personally, just a little label or here a heart, just as you like. So let's get started. So our first step is that the bubble sleeve has a roller hem here at the top edge. You can sew it with your sewing machine or the overlock. So two parallel rows of E stitches along the sleeves head, one around 1.7 cm and the other is about 2.3 cm. Longer stitch lengths, loose thread tensions, do not back tagging and leaving long loose threads at the beginning and the end. I just use the centimeters lines here on my sewing, sewing machine to have a guideline. So later the seam will place here two centimeter from the edge away. So now I have a look here at the lines and take 2.5 centimeter and the other about 1.5. And then the next row. Now pull on the E stitches just one side, take the back sides, those two, hold them and then gather 
this seam here by hand. And at the end result, it should fit here. It should have the, the same length at the upper sleeve bottom edge. Now pin the preparated bubble sleeve to the upper sleeve at the split seams. Attention, left side on right side. The width of the ruffle is two centimeters. And here we have a seam allowance from one centimeter. So make sure that here the two centimeter pin on the one centimeter marking. Both right sides are facing you. And here's a little trick how it's easier. Here are the second E stitches row and I use this edge as a guideline and lay them on top of each other. So, and now I sew here in the middle between those two rows of stitches. Make sure you use an elastic stitch like this one here. Or if you have a seralon, that's a flexible thread. And then just pull out the E stitches because you don't need them. So now your sleeve is preparated. Now lay the sleeve over the front bodies, right sides together, and pin them together at the shoulder seams here. and stitch the shoulder seam with an elastic straight stitch. Press the seam allowance toward the bodies and if you desire you can top stitch the seam from the right side. Repeat the steps with the other shoulder seams. Lay the front bodies over the back bodies at the side seams and pin them. Make sure that the shoulder seams match and that the ruffles lay towards the shoulder seams, means they have to lay up and pin them on top of each other and pin the side seam and the sleeve seams. Then stitch the side seam, including the sleeve with an elastic straight stitch or the overlock or your serger. Your hoodie right side facing out and have a look if the seam matches here with the ruffles and the shoulder seams and give it a press. Here we have the sleeve cuffs. Pin them right sides together here at the shorter the side seam. Thank you. 
and stitch it with a straight stitch. Now press the seam allowance open, fold it wrong side facing so that the right side is on both sides out. Now pin the cuff to the sleeve hem and stitch it with an elastic stitch. Here, as you can see, it depends on the fabric that you are choosing for the cuff. If you are using knitted fabric, um, then you can stretch it to the whole length of the sleeve hem. Um, but I use the fabric here, the main fabric, and then I have to put two e-stitches and garter the hem from the sleeve a little bit and then stitch it with an elastic stitch or the overlocker. And then remove the E stitches. And turn it. Your cuff is sewn in. And with the main fabric, it looks so clear and elegant. Repeat this step for the other sleeve. And now it depends on the option you are choosing for the body's hem. You can use the cuff. This will be sewn in as the same as you have seen for the sleeve cuffs. Or you can choose a cord option or an elastic. Now this is for the hem option with the cord. Apply your interfacing and punch the eyelets in. Then press the hem allowance under one, uh, two and a half or three centimeters, just as you prefer, and stitch the hem with a straight stitch. And for the hem option with an elastic, press the hem allowance under two or two and a half centimeter to the wrong side, mark an opening and stitch the hem with a straight stitch. Leave the opening unstitched and then insert the elastic into the hem with a safety pin and close the opening. As well, it depends on the elastic that you choose. This one is good for to insert or if you don't like to insert the elastic into a tunnel, you can... Um, take an elastic with the right length and stretch it and sew it with an overlocker to the side and then oops, pull it over and stitch it here. That's also an option to do it. There's no wrong or right. And then just insert your cord or drawstring. Yeah, and then here yeah, I can adjust it. And now that your cuffs are sewn in, or the other hem option, 
we can start with the hood. As you can see, I already preparated the hood. I press the opening for the face opening uh, three centimeter to the wrong side and press the interfacing on and put in the eyelets for the cord. And here are some little things, maybe I sew them on. So the first step is to lay the hood pieces on top of each other, right side facing and pin them together at the hood curve here. And stitch the curve of the hood with an elastic thread stitch or your overlocker. Press the seam allowance opened or if you had used your overlock just to one side. So that the seam is flat. Press the seam allowance here under 3 cm to the wrong size and pin it in place. Then close the seam with an elastic straight stitch. Turn your hoodie wrong side facing you and mark the front middle and the back middle and then place your hood inside so that the right sides are matches and then pin here the hood in place and as well the whole neckline just pin it take your time and make sure that all layers are lay smooth and have no wrinkles Trim the seam allowance. Now that the hood is sewn in and you can see uh, the bias tape is already sewn on, it depends on the bias tape you are using. You can use the main fabric and just uh, use this or you can use already folded um, bias tape or here like this one. Turn your hoodie right side facing out. Fold the bias tape toward the bodies. Stitch the other side of the bias tape onto the bodies so that the seam allowed is height. Now your bias tape is sewn in and the seam allowance is not visible. So now we can put in the cord with the safety pin and then we are ready. Congratulations! You've made your own Ruschholm hoodie and 
give it a pr final press and it's ready to wear. Yeah, as you can see, I've made a lot of Rouge Holmes because I love this pattern just for this autumn or winter. It's perfect. If you liked this video, just give us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel that you don't miss any other videos about our how to sew our patterns and even little tricks and tips about sewing. So, see you next time. Bye!